Right, so guys, so we'll continue on the painting of um, this picture right here. And so we will um, use the brush to kind of like do this um, structure just beside that elephant. So we have some pink lines to kind of like represent some of um, this structure right there, which is um, just beside that elephant, just beside that cloth. And we're just going to very quickly use the brush to kind of like um, depict this thing right here. And then we are going to move on to um, the rest of the painting, which is the main uh, portion, which is the elephant and the cloth. So I'm using some orange paint to help me to um, paint this cloth right here, which is the um, cloth coming from the harness. And so here we have different tones of orange and brown, and this is used to paint the cloth. And um, we have all these different um, colors, um, although they are also orange, but we have all these different kinds of browns and orange. And so we have, you know, all these um, different, slightly different tones of these warm tones to actually depict the cloth right here. And so we have um, the use of this um, brown. So again, this brown is beside that orange. So by putting this um, brown, which is a warm color beside that orange, again, the color kind of like match because they are both warm colors and they are close to each other in, on the color wheel. And so that actually works. So beside the dark brown that we just did, we are going to do another brown um, area and that is the um, this dark red and of course this um, orange and this being mixed together when it's still wet. So you can see a lot of a um, bit of that soft edge there. And so we have all these, you know, different kinds of reds, yellows and browns and all these different kinds of um, warm tones that are being combined together to form that cloth. And so right here we have the use of these dark tones to form the bottom part of the cloth and we have the use of this dark red again forming using all these shapes to form the bottom part of the cloth and using all these strokes to form some of the cloth. Some of the um, things that are coming out from the cloth and all these different kinds of um, strokes that are used to represent all these different kinds of um, things that are coming out. So we have um, different tones of blue, orange and brown to, plain, to paint the cloth on the right hand side. And so here we have the use of this dark blue, which is ultramarine, to paint that cloth that is coming down. So similar, similar to what we did on the left hand side, we are just going to um, paint this part. So just now I was trying to mention the ends of the cloth with all those strokes, all those lines that I use to depict. Okay, those brown lines and those orange and yellow lines. So right here we have this light blue. Again, we are changing the tone of the light blue from dark to lighter so that we have a different kind of blue right here. Right, so using that brush, we are able to depict some of the blues and some of the light blues and dark blues and this is something that we want to do for this cloth right here. So this is very important for us to make sure that we have all these different blues because these different blues are what make the um, cloth look interesting. Right, imagine if we have the exact same blue for the cloth. That is something which is going to be very um, boring for the viewer. It looks flat and it doesn't look interesting at all. And so we have this uh, black line and this black line is going to be combined with some of the blue. And so we are going to use that brush to kind of like make sure we have all these different tones of blue that are now being depicted on the right hand side. 
Right, so we have <coughs> all these um, different kinds of uh, light blues as well. So we can mix that cerulean blue or sky blue with the cerulean um, with the dark blue or ultramarine to get a mixture of all these different blues. So again, we see some dark blues, some light blues, which is the essence of the cloth. So using that yellow color pencil, just adding even more strokes for that cloth on the left hand side. Now that it is dry, we are able to use the color pencil to help us with some of the details and some of those, the ends that are coming out from the cloth. And that is something which makes it even more realistic with the use of these, you know, these strokes, these yellow strokes. So again, using that brush, we are going to make sure that we have all these different kinds of colors that are being added. Right, so we're using that brush to make sure that um, we have all these different tones of gray to paint the year. So right here, the year is being made up of all these different tones of gray and all these different light tones that make up the year. And that is, you know, being mixed with some of the light blue. So you can mix a little bit of the light blue with some of the gray tones for the year. And that will really make, you know, all these um, different grays come out slightly um, more interesting with all these different colors okay so now we are trying to avoid all those white areas which i didn't mask out using the mask masking fluid but we are just using the black paint to help with the painting of this um, part which is much darker than the rest so this part is part of the skin of the elephant but we are just trying to to avoid the feet of the man which is below that dark area right so again trying to avoid all those light spots and we are just trying to make sure that we have all these you know different kinds of grays and this will really help in terms of um, giving uh, this this um, elephant um, all these different kinds of grays which makes the year look more interesting so now we are trying to finish up the rest of the year with all these grays all right so the thing is uh, we don't want to have a um, neutral gray as much as possible so we can mix a little bit of light blue or we can mix a little bit of that light brown um, to that gray so that the gray will not be just um, gray and it's like so boring kind of gray but we want to have all these different blues and slightly different hues and slightly you know more interesting colors and that will help us to have all these nice grays so again leaving white all those white areas and we are just going to paint some of the spots dark spots after we have the white areas left white and then we have some of the um, tones that are being added and so and we are going to use the um, brush right there to paint some of the darker tones so again using some of the brush wet brush to pick some of those spots and then we have all these orange tones and gray tones and uh, all this brownish kind of tones to depict the ends of the cloth on the right hand side and using all those like yellows and grays and orange and that will actually give all these very nice colors so i use black lines and dry techniques to paint the skin and we have all these different kinds of skin and um, we have all these different kinds of uh, you know um, dark tones to paint the skin so again that part is pretty dark because it is um, very close to the end of the trunk the trunk right there which is underneath that shadow and so we have all these different grays you know like bluish gray right here so using all these strokes to kind of like depict the dark strokes first and then we can move on to the lighter strokes right so using that brush i'm just trying to make all these strokes that is i'm um, giving us all those dark tones and just very quickly 
I'm using that brush to help us with all these strokes. Right, so we have all these different greys that are being combined together. We have the darker greys, we have the lighter greys, and this is being combined together with the brush right now. And so we have this very, very um, important kind of a mixing technique, which is called the um, blending technique. Right, so um, it is most easy to blend when the paint is still wet. But if it's still if it's dry, we can actually wet the area again, and then we can blend that entire area. So no worries if the paint is already dry. Um, we can still wet the area again. So below that eye, we have this grey tones again. We have some of the blue tones that can be combined with those grey tones, and <clears throat> we can. Um, combine all these different areas and right now you can see that we have all these different grays that really make the whole skin tone look very interesting instead of just using one gray so we are nearing the eye area so just completing this area which is beside the ear and just using that pink tone again mixing with that light gray to depict all these different grays together so again, we have pinkish greys, we have light blue greys, we have brownish greys, we have um, dark blue greys, we have all these different greys that will form all these very interesting and very nice kind of colours. So again, painting those strokes around the eye so that um, the middle part is being left white, which we will do after we um, paint the surrounding area first. Right, so we have this black paint that is used to paint the eye. So making sure we don't uh, go out of the eye, making sure the shape of the eye is good. And so we have um, this eye that is being painted. Right, so there's no need for that eyeball because the whole thing is black. And now we are using the brown color pencil for the man's foot. Right, so that small little area that over there that we left white is supposed to be the foot of the rider of, of the elephant which is the Indian man and uh, we are just using that small brush to um, kind of like add some light brown tones and these light brown tones are being added to those dark tones and these dark tones are being combined with those brown tones and we have the use of this black color pencil that is used to to paint some of the lines on the soles of the feet the foot and so we have all these toes that um kind of like use the black color pencil to kind of like outline and then we have um this dark brown color pencil which is used to paint the rest of the toes right there right so the thing is um we need to have all these different colors again using all these different browns and different um, light browns and dark browns and also some reds to help us to paint and to color the sole of the feet right there which again we see all these subtly different colors and also leaving white to show the reflections the white areas on the feet right so using that small brush that will help us to control this part more easily and just using my fingers to kind of like make sure we have all these different tones and different kinds of browns that are being mixed together nicely to form the sole of the man's foot. Alright, so it's pretty fun to actually do all these details and just making sure that we have this thing being done. Using my fingers to help me with some of the smudging. And you can see right now that um, we've seen how I actually did the cloth on both sides, how I actually did the skin tones for the elephants, the eyes, and finally this skin tone of the men's foot. So these are some of the techniques that I would like to show you and I look forward to share more with you in my next video. Hey everyone, it's KY Tom here. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.